Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to talk about finding reference angles. But before we get to talking about reference angles, finding them, let's talk about what reference angles actually are. So we use a reference angle when an angle's terminal side is not in quadrant one. When we determine what value to use for theta when it's not in quadrant one, we determine its reference angle or the acute angle formed between the terminal side of theta and the x-axis. And I'm going to emphasize this over and over again. It's so important that it's the x-axis. So if we look at an example here, if we have an angle that goes up like this, so here's my angle theta, the reference angle is the angle formed between the x-axis and that terminal side, so it would be right here. So this here is the reference angle. And it's really important to note that the reference angle is always uh, the acute angle between the x-axis. We would never use this up here and say, look, there's the reference angle. Nope, that's, that's between the terminal side and the y-axis. We always use the x-axis. The notation for reference angle is called theta hat. So it's theta and then it's wearing a little hat. And this is pronounced and spelled theta hat. And so that's the notation of some acute angle. So theta hat is always in between zero degrees and 90 degrees because it's an acute angle measure. So it should never be 112 degrees or 425 degrees, nothing like that. If we're using radians, then of course it's in between zero and, oops, sorry, zero and pi over two. So either in between zero and 90 or between zero and pi over two. So I said up here was my reference angle and that would be theta hat. So Usually, I'm going to focus mostly on degrees, and then we can talk about um, radians as needed. Um, but to find the reference angle, so if the terminal side is in quadrant 2, so if terminal side n is in quadrant 2, if term side in Q2, then what we would do is we would, uh, so we're going to call terminal side that, and then we're going to call the angle measure theta, then what we would do to calculate the reference angle, we would do 180 degrees minus theta, right? Because theta, if it terminates in quadrant two, then it's somewhere in between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So to find that reference angle, we would find, uh, we would subtract 180 degrees by theta to give us theta hat. If the terminal side is in quadrant three, so this means that it's somewhere in between 180 and 270 degrees, then what we would do is we would take the angle and subtract it by 180, right? Because the angle measure is going to be bigger than 180, so we would want to subtract. So what that would look like up here, so if this is theta, theta hat, oh, good lord. If this is theta, then theta hat is going to be right here. So we went past 180, so it's going to be 180 plus theta hat, will get us to the terminal side of theta itself. If the terminal side is in quadrant four, then we're gonna use 360 degrees and we would do 360 degrees minus theta. And that would tell us theta hat if it ends in quadrant four. I'm also making the assumption here that the angle is somewhere in between 90 and 360. If it's not between 90 and 360, what you could do is, uh, find a coterminal angle that is between 90 and 360 degrees. So that's what we would do if we're in degrees. If we're in radians, so just to convert this, I'm gonna erase this, sorry, bye. Um, if we're in radians, then it would be pi minus theta would tell us our reference angle. Uh, it would be theta minus pi would tell us the reference angle in quadrant three. And in quadrant four, it would be two pi minus theta would tell us our reference angle. Okay, let's find some reference angles. So first we're gonna find the reference angle for 240 degrees. I'm gonna label my four quadrant, my four corners. So I have zero degrees, up here is 90 degrees, over here is 180 degrees, and down here is 270 degrees. So 240 degrees indicates to me that the terminal side is in quadrant three, and it's gonna be closer to 270 than it is to 180. So it's gonna be maybe down here, and there's theta. So the reference angle is going to be between the negative x-axis and that terminal side. So we have this little acute angle right here that goes past 180. So to find the reference angle, we would take the angle we're given and subtract it by 180. 
and that would give us 60 degrees. So we would say theta hat is equal to 60 degrees, and that would be our reference angle for 240 degrees. 7 pi over 4, so we are in radians. I, I'm glad I went over it. 7 pi over 4, so let's label in radians. We have 0 radians, pi over 2 radians, pi radians, and 3 pi over 2. 7 pi over 4, that's going to terminate in quadrant 4, and it's going to be closer to, uh, well, this is 2 pi, sorry, let me label that. It's going to be closer to 2 pi than it is 3 pi over 2. So maybe it's like right here. And accuracy is not super important here. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not super important. And then from here, so in this case, um, the reference angle is going to be along the positive x-axis to the terminal side. So right here is theta hat. And the way we would find it is we would take 2 pi and subtract it by 7 pi over 4. 2 pi is equivalent to 8 pi over 4, so I want a denominator of 4 so I can subtract, and 2 pi would equal 8 pi divided by 4. So I'm going to rewrite this 8 pi over 4 minus 7 pi over 4 equals pi over 4. So my reference angle in this example is pi over 4. Pi over 4, you may recall, is equivalent to 45 degrees, which is an acute angle measure. Okay. Another example, we have 310 degrees, so I'm going to label these according to degrees, since we're talking about degrees, this is 90, over here is 180, down here is 270, up here would be 360. Uh, 310 would terminate in quadrant 4, and 310 is going to be closer to 270, so maybe like this, and I would draw theta here. So theta hat, my reference angle is, oh gross, is going to be along the positive x-axis down that terminal side, so here's theta hat. Notice I always use the x-axis. I'm never using the y-axis ever, 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 ever. Um, and then to determine the reference angle, it would be 360 degrees minus 310 degrees, which is 50 degrees. So theta hat for 310 degrees is 50 degrees. Another example in radians, we have 3 pi over 4. Let's label. So I have 0 radians and 2 pi radians. Up here I have pi over 2 radians, here I have pi radians, and here I have 3 pi over 2. Uh, 3 pi over 4 is in between pi over 2 and pi. It's actually exactly halfway between, so it's going to be up like that. So theta would be right here, and then theta hat would be along the negative x-axis up that terminal side, so theta hat's going to be right here. To figure out the reference angle, we're going to take pi and subtract it by 3 pi over 4. Pi in terms of fourths is 4 fourths, right, because that's like one whole. So we would say 4 pi over 4 minus 3 pi over 4 is equal to pi over 4. So this one actually has the same reference angle as uh, the last example we did in radians. How convenient. That's not to say that all uh, radian measures will have a reference angle of pi over 4. It just happens to be a coincidence with these two. For this example with negative 135 degrees, I would suggest uh, just converting it to an angle between 0 and 360. So what we would do is we would add 360 to this. And when we add 360, we would end up with 5. This would be 2, and this would be 2. So a coterminal angle to negative 135 degrees would be 225 degrees. You can use the negative if, if you want to. That's, that's totally up to you. Um, and then from here, if we label, Let's see where 225 degrees is. This is 270 degrees. So 225 degrees will be in quadrant 3. It's going to terminate in quadrant 3. Maybe right, ooh, right there. And there's theta. So theta hat is going to be the negative x-axis and that terminal side right here. So we're going past 180. So we'll say 225 minus 180 is 45. So our reference angle of negative 135 degrees will be the same reference angle as 225 degrees, which will be 45 degrees. Somehow this ended up copying over. Oh, there we go. Okay, great. And our last example, we want to determine the reference angle of 200 degrees. So nice number between 90 and 360. That's perfect. So we have 0, 90, 180, 270 and 360. 200 terminates in quadrant 3, so it's going to be maybe right here. So here's theta. 
theta hat will be along the negative x-axis and that terminal side right here. So we're going to do 200, the angle itself, minus 180, giving us 20. So the reference angle of 200 degrees is 20 degrees. This has been a few examples of finding the reference angle. Thank you for stopping by.